Today, we get to learn about a country called Mexico. I can't wait to tell you about all the fun things for it. So the country of Mexico is actually kind of our neighbor to the south. We are right here in the United States. That's the country we live in. And you see this lighter spot down here? This is Mexico. If you look over here, you see this little dent? We live right here in Mexico. It's just right over here. So that's why we call it our neighbor to the south because it's right next to us and it's south of the United States. The largest city in uh, Mexico is Mexico City. And not only is it the largest city in Mexico, but it's the largest city in the whole North America, which that's where we live too. So it is larger than any city that we have in the United States or in Canada. That is really big. But that's not the only type of city they have. It's not just big cities. There's all kinds of other types of places and areas that people live in Mexico. They have some small towns such as this. Look at the way that this house was built. It looks like it's bricks with what kind of looks like thatched roofing. That means it's kind of made out of uh, straw looking pieces. But then you have other houses like this where it looks like clay packed together on itself. These are both types of houses you might find in Mexico. They also have more rural vi villages where if you look here these houses aren't built so strong. Doesn't look like there's a door that goes all the way, but you can kind of tell the difference from building to building. But unlike that one roof where I said it looked like straw, this one looks like it has a bunch of little clay tiles all over their roof. There's also mountains in Mexico. And there's mountains sometimes have towns going all the way up the side. And many of those little villages going up the side of mountains, let's call them mountain villages, they are made out of dirt roads. And a way that's common for people to travel is by bicycle. Now there's a couple types of traditional clothing you might have seen or heard of before that come from Mexico. The first one we're going to point out is a poncho. The poncho helps protect people from things like rain and sun. And then there's also this beautiful colorful ornate hat called a sombrero. And it said it can be very hot and dry and sunny in Mexico. And this hat would keep the sun off of them. Have you ever worn a big floppy hat to the beach? Well, it's kind of the same idea. It gives shade so the sun is not on you. It's a little bit cooler, but you also don't get sunburned. So now these are clothes that you might see some people wearing, but it might not look quite like this or you might not even see them wearing it at all. Kind of like the different countries we talked about where it's called traditional clothing, which is what it used to look like. And like I said, you might still find someone wearing this, but it might just look a little bit different than these. So in the packet you have, you actually can see a little boy wearing a poncho. This is part of the work that you have in your learning packet that you picked up the other day. So when you get this, you can see the little boy wearing his colorful poncho and you get to color his donkey and the piece of fabric over his donkey. And the piece of fabric would be colored kind of similarly to this. Can you say poncho? Poncho. So this is the part that goes over their shoulder and you have the little V right here to pop your head through. Now the sombrero. You also get to decorate a sombrero in your work. So you'll connect the dots from one, two, three, four, all the way to dot 18. And then try and use similar colorful crayons to kind of make it look like this. Those would have been the colors they would use to decorate your sombrero. Now there is something else beautiful that happens. In Mexico, they are part of the monarch butterfly migration. Now these butterflies come from all the way as north as Canada. During the summertime, they fly up there. And then in the wintertime, when it starts to get cold, they fly down to Mexico. 
And Mexico is kind of the ending point for it because Mexico is nice and warm even during the winter time that it's a nice place for them to live where the butterfly population can survive the cold. Now, there's markets in Mexico and you can find all kinds of bright and colorful things and musical instruments and even some kinds of special foods. Now, talking about food, did you know that there's food from Mexico that we eat all the time? Some of those foods are things like an avocado. Those are pretty tasty. Also, we get some of our tomatoes from Mexico. Now, you might see tomatoes in your own backyard, but Mexico grows and delivers tomatoes to us. Another thing they make is chocolate. Now, not every chocolate bar is from Mexico, but Mexico is known for some of its chocolate. Sometimes they even make a special chocolate where it's a spicy kind of chocolate. There's a few more fun things in Mexico. One of them is called a mariachi band. Listen carefully. I'm about to play a little bit of a mariachi band. Now, could you understand any of what they were saying? Do you know why? It wasn't just because they sounded funny. They were speaking a completely different language. In Mexico, they speak Spanish. We speak English in the United States. So, we can, unless you speak Spanish, you don't know what they're saying there. Now, something else fun that you might find in Mexico are things like this beautiful ornate. Do you know what this is? It's a piñata. So, they fill it with goodies and treats, and then they bust it open. And when you hit it hard enough, all the goodies come falling out. You're actually going to get the chance to make your own piñata. I have a little video where I show you how to take that brown paper bag that you got with your uh, packet and turn that into a fun piñata. And in your Rebecca pages, you even get to decorate a piñata as well. You're going to use the number code up at the top where you see the number one. You'll color it. What color? Red. Where you see the number two, what color will you color it? Blue. Remember to stay in the lines, fill in all of the white spots, and try your very best. So the colors you'll need are red, blue, yellow, green, and orange. If you get a little bit stuck on your paper, you can see it a little easier. The color words are colored the right colors for the word that you'll read. I hope you enjoyed learning about Mexico, and I hope you enjoy making your piñata even more. Have fun with it.